Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, brown shaded uh, square uh, DEFG fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, side uh, BC is uh, 12 units, whereas uh, its hypotenuse uh, AC is uh, 13 units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, brown shaded square please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale and in this video i am going to share with you with two different approaches so therefore please watch the video till the very end let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, brown shaded square uh, defg and i'm going to label uh, its uh, side length uh, as uh, x since all the sides are equal so this side is going to be x x and x across the board and now we are going to focus on this right triangle a b c we know its hypotenuse is 13 units one of its legs is 12 units and now we are going to calculate this leg a B as well so therefore let's recall the Pythagorean triplets 5 12 and 13 and we know our two values are 12 and 13 so therefore this uh, unknown uh, length uh, has got to be 5 uh, units so therefore uh, our this uh, leg a B turns out to be 5 units and now let's assume that this uh, tiny segment eb i'm going to label that one as uh, lowercase a and we know this whole uh, side length is 12. so therefore uh, this segment uh, ce is going to be 12 minus uh, a and now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words, uh, the sum of these angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this angle is our angle alpha. Then in this uh, right triangle ABC, this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle EFC. We know this angle is alpha this is our 90 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta and now in this uh, triangle uh, dbe we know this is our angle beta this is 90 degree angle so therefore this uh, remaining angle has got to be angle alpha and in this uh, triangle this angle is alpha this is 90 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta and finally, in this uh, triangle uh, AGD, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is beta. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. So therefore, we conclude that our these uh, two right triangles, uh, the triangle uh, EBD and the bigger right triangle ABC are our similar triangles according to angle-angle uh, similarity theorem. We are talking about this uh, tiny right triangle uh, EBD and this whole big blue triangle ABC. And since uh, these two triangles are similar, so we are going to have a proportion. So therefore, we are going to have a ratio of uh, EB and ED is going to be equal to the ratio of BC and uh, AC side lengths. And in our case, our uh, EB side is lowercase a. So I'm going to replace that one with lowercase a. Our uh, ED side is uh, x. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, x. And now our uh, BC side uh, is this uh, whole uh, 12 units. So I'm going to replace that one with 12. And finally, this uh, AC length is this uh, hypotenuse uh, 13. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 13 so therefore we can write uh, a divided by x is going to be equal to 12 divided by 13 and now i'm going to label this one as our equation number one 
And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFC and this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that both of these uh, triangles are uh, similar triangles uh, as well, according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. And since uh, these two triangles are similar, so we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, the ratio of uh, CE and EF is going to be equal to the ratio of AC and AB side lengths. And now let's focus on uh, CE length. In our case, CE length is 12 minus A. So I'm going to replace that one with the 12 minus A. And now our uh, EF side length uh, is uh, x so i'm going to replace that one with x and now we can see ac is uh, our hypotenuse which is uh, 13 so i'm going to replace that one with uh, 13 and finally our side a b length is uh, 5 units so i'm going to replace that one with 5 as you can see in this uh, next step and now i'm going to tweak this uh, left hand side this could be written as 12 divided by x minus a divided by x is going to be equal to 13 divided by 5 and from equation 1 we know our a divided by x value is 12 divided by 13 so i'm going to substitute that value 12 divided by 13 over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now i'm going to move this uh, 12 divided by 13 on the other side so therefore we can write uh, 12 divided by x is going to be equal to 13 divided by 5 plus uh, 12 divided by 13 and now we are going to add these two fractions so therefore we are going to use the crisscross method so if we multiply these one that is going to give us uh, 13 times uh, 13 and then plus uh, 5 times uh, 12 and then in the denominator 5 times uh, 13 I'm gonna write down 65 at the denominator so let's simplify 13 times 13 it's 169 plus 60 divided by 65 and if we add the numerator that's going to give us 229 divided by 65 so therefore this uh, right hand side uh, simplifies to 229 divided by 65 so therefore we can write down 12 divided by x equals to 229 divided by 65 and now we are going to flip both sides over as you can see in this uh, next step it doesn't make any difference uh, whatsoever and now we are going to multiply both sides by 12 to isolate uh, x and here we can see this 12 and 12 is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be if we multiply the numerator that is going to give us 780 divided by 229 so thus our x value turns out to be 780 divided by 229 and we know our x uh, is the side length of the square so the side length of the brown square turns out to be 780 divided by 229 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, brown uh, square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case the side length of the square is 780 divided by 229 so therefore the brown square area turns out to be our side length is 780 divided by 229 whole square so thus the area of this uh, brown square turns out to be 780 divided by 229 square uh, square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 11.6 square units as well and now let me show you the alternative method let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle as lowercase c and i'm going to label this side uh, lowercase a 
and this uh, leg uh, lowercase b. Then we can see our lowercase a value is 5, lowercase b value is 12, and uh, our uh, c value is 13. And here's the direct formula that we'll be using to calculate the area of this uh, brown square. And here's the formula a times b times c all over a times b plus c square whole square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. We know our a value is 5, b value is 12, c value is 13, divided by a value is 5, b value is 12, plus c value is 13 whole square and then whole square and if we multiply these uh, numerators that is going to give us 780 and at the denominator that is going to give us uh, 60 plus 13 square is uh, 169 and if we add that uh, that is going to give us uh, 229 so therefore uh, if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 780 divided by 200 and 29 whole square so thus the area of this uh, brown square turns out to be 780 divided by 229 square square units and that is approximately equal to 11.6 square units as well by using this uh, second method thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye